Hello, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser. I guess the commune of France, let's continue on for last left off. So, we're looking at a pretty, pretty juicy encirclement over here. Hoping that I can actually uh, secure it for myself. Oh, Lithuania, did he do it? Oh, Germany, please clear war in Lithuania. You beautiful bastards. Yeah, you guys push out like this. If you de if they declare war on uh, Lithuania, and they did, that's going to distract the AI. I mean, it's going to get White Ruthenia and Baltic Duchy at war with them as well, but they're kind of on our side now. Which is just splendid. Can I actually drive straight to Berlin? The classic drive to Berlin. Let's go, 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 go. See if we can get it done. More invasion to southern France, but I'm not too worried. Yeah, they're definitely going to get uh, repelled. And still no signs of the... The uprisings in Africa, which is a disappointment, but what can you do? Yes, keep on pushing. We're at 95. We're close to getting that victory. Again, we're just trying to keep these guys so they cannot uh, yeah, regroup here. Now you guys have basically no supplies whatsoever, so you should hopefully just get completed, completely like routed, which is my uh, my main plan here, my main hope. This German tank should die. I don't think he'll have enough supplies to really get anything done. Once you're done, 99%, you counterattack into here. Look at that's just a thing of beauty. It's Bastille Day 20 political power. The Portuguese have actually landed behind our lines again, which is just incredibly rude. Please stop it. Okay, if you're part of this encirclement right now, you're here. If you're part of this encirclement, half of you split up. Go here. The Portuguese have landed in Germany, which is not really what I'm after. And Lithuania should hopefully start doing some good work. Again, I'm not I'm not worried about the Entente. I, I really don't think they're ever actually going to pose a major threat to us. Which is nice that I don't think I have to worry about them, but... I'm just going to drive straight to Williamshaven. Take that port. Because again, I can... I'm going to bet decent money and say they actually don't have any troops right there. I would bet... At least five dollars. That they don't have any troops defending that port. Uh, that they need the, their uh, supplies to come through. Like, again, the Lithuanian Revolt's probably not going to last too long, but it's doing what it needs to do, and that's distracting the AI. Okay, so the massive Austrian army is pushing their way through. To be fair, it's like a 20 stack. I'm actually going to pull my troops slightly back out. Just so that we don't get like completely destroyed. Go over here. Of course, we have a non-aggression pack with you, Lithuania, my new best friend. Now, if Ukraine, oh, they're actually doing a fate of the monarchy too. If you would just do the same thing and uh, cast off the shackles of the Germans, that would be great. You have my full support. This actually like. Two years ahead of time still. Because like, I keep forgetting that we're not in, like, 1940. That we're in... We're still, like, halfway through 38. Yeah, no, they had nobody in the port. 
color me the prize on that one. I'm just kidding. I would not be surprised at all. So you're all dead. You can all now regroup somewhere else. You don't need to be here, though. You're fine being on that front. These guys can still keep killing him. They, they should be fine doing that. Oh, that massive uh, Austrian death stack, by the way, just disappeared. I don't know where they went. It's like, I was worried about them, but now... Now, surprisingly, I'm not. Yeah, so Lithuania Revolt, apparently it's like... It's going to be a decent thorn in their side. We're very close to that, uh... Victory in... Berlin. Got four more military factories for free. Get infantry equipment for 5% cheaper. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, so Lithuania is dead. But again, I don't know how many troops actually sent over there. Ireland wants you on the international? Of course! I didn't even know you guys went uh, syndicalist. How many men do you actually have? You have 8 divisions and 11 boats. So... Kind of garbage, but you're another distraction for the AI. Which is all I could ever ask for. Okay, we're almost at Nuremberg. I don't know when the Germans give up. I mean, first, we got to take Berlin. There's definitely no question about that. Berlin has to fall for that uh, decision to break. Or for that decision to fire. I'd be surprised if it was uh, anything else. We got some more troops. Send them to help garrison for now. For now, I actually want you to be slightly careful. You're basically what's defending us against the... The full brunt of the Austrian army. Okay, now I have, now I have enough militia men. You are now extremely low priority. In fact, just cancel you. I don't think I need any more. You're fine as is. I mean, if I attack here... And I can dislodge just one German troop. That's going to be three more dead uh, Reich's Pact members. Are they doing another thing invasion of Eastern Germany? Or is that just about the, the planes that I don't have enough of? Yeah, I think like most of my Air Force have been shot down. Yeah, I have 166 planes. So... Normal operations, but do nothing at all. You're grounded. Like, how many planes do I actually have in reserves? 53 naval bombers. Okay, so... Once we've killed the Germans... Uh, air operations and getting planes... is definitely going to be a pretty high priority for me. Unfortunately, that's going to take a while. There's a, there's a chance I think we can actually defeat Germany before Ukraine actually even questions the monarchy. We've taken Nuremberg. We've crossed the 50% uh, line. We're gonna take Leipzig. Okay, march away into Berlin. There's nobody actually there. It's worth 50 victory points. That's nothing to uh, shy away from. So we're going to take here, take Danzig. Basically, you're just going to try to take the entirety of the coastline here. And Berlin has fallen. Apparently, it said the Walloon commune did it, but 
You know, I have my doubts about that one. Looks like you might lose Leipzig, which is disappointing. Lithuania's been annexed. Not a huge surprise. Orange Army, you hold position. Do something like this. Take this airport from the Germans. Hopefully we can, uh... Oh, Poland got a lot of territory. I'm guessing they actually demanded territory from the Germans. Okay, I mean, that works out fine for me then. I mean, actually, I still want to take their last port. I mean, they technically still have Eastern Prussia, but... Nah, that's actually... Poland, do you want to go Syndicalist and join me? If you went Syndicalist right now, you know how great that would benefit me it would be uh, marvelous got some more military factories let's go for a few more trucks you guys connect yes you do okay wonderful Looks like we're going to win here. Stuttgart is worth 15 victory points, so that's definitely going to be a city we want to take. And this one's worth 5. So you know what? 15 victory points between the two of them is pretty good. It's going to take an entire year for the anti-tank rifle, but I think for a 100% uh, research bonus, it's probably still worth it. And I'm thinking, I mean, there's a handful more German major cities. I mean, basically the big three that are highlighted right now. Munich, I think, is the one that we want to target most. Because that's going to put us on the border with the Austrians, which is something that we do uh, want to do. But yeah, as soon as Germany said, I... I, I still think Germany's like a major part of this army. AOG is actually... Has probably more troops than the Germans do right now. And is there anybody who I think we'd white piece out? Cuba. The Dutch, the Indies. But I think I could consider part of uh, the Netherlands. Which is an entirely different thing. For how I think it'll work mechanically. Like at this point, it's almost like... I'm winning... Pretty significantly. Like, I'm winning hard enough that I wish the AI would just realize it and just give up. But yet they refuse to give up. So it's like, we're going to take Leipzig. That's worth 30 victory points. Italy is demanded that I give some troops back. I don't even know which armies you're part of. Yeah, the ones down here. That's fine. Um... Wait, how did you get over here? I have no idea how you actually managed to do that, but okay. Attention. Some reinforcements, make sure the Germans don't actually land down in the south. Dutkart apparently is uh, putting up more of a resistance than I would have thought. Okay, so that's their major city fallen. They're at 31%. Attention. And the Ottomans have won their war. So congratulations to them. For some solid work. We did not take Leipzig. And the Austrians are actually slightly pushing us back out of Bavaria. Which is disappointing. But again, like as soon as we defeat Germany, this all these troops are just going to march straight down to the south. And that works pretty well for me, I would say.
So the, I'm guessing the Ottomans are releasing territory. Or the game's real, or Germany's realized that we've won. No, they are. Oh no, the game did realize that we've won. Fantastic. Thank you, Germany. For just a completely dominant uh, game here. Take all states. Thank you very much. So. So, 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 little Austria. You thought that you had a chance in this war against me? I had just defeated the Europe's greatest power. And yet you believe foolishly. Who am I still at war with? Okay. Most of Europe, um, the further away colonies kind of are doing their own thing. The Canadians are trying to land in Ireland and Britain. I don't care about that. And Germany has fallen. That's going to put all their troops. Or, you know, German government, government exile is going to be down in the south. And you guys are now going to be here. Kill what's left of you. If only you decided to question the monarchy a little bit sooner, my friend. I think I think if they do fate of the monarchy, like they'll still not be they won't be at war with us anymore. Which I think is pretty good. And also it trapped all these Austrians in here. So how does that feel, AI, to have the weird mechanics uh, turn against you? I mean, they have Munich, but... Could be worse. Blue army, your job is to push your way down to the south like this. Orange army, your job is to push your way straight to Vienna. And purple army, you're going to spearhead your way straight down to here. Tendency is fine. Two soldiers join the Entente. It is what it is. So unfortunately, they have kind of connected these lines together. But I'm going to kind of edit them, because I don't want them to go down here, because I'm sure that'll get them all killed. And by that, I'm, I mean, I, I can guarantee you it'll get them all killed. Okay, so. The fate of the Netherlands. We will liberate the Netherlands as a whole. A friendly ally here. Sure, we'll return the land to them. I don't know what land the Italians had that I would have had control of, but... Oh, probably you. Probably Malta. But I don't know. And return Walloon land? Yeah, sure. He was fine to me. The French Republic declared war on Morocco. Is that really the smartest idea? 24 out of 33. 16 out of 18. And our rebellion still is not fired yet. Uh, sadly. Yeah, unsurprisingly, the, uh... The Austrians will take control of that territory. Okay, please, please let me... Yeah, be like that. That's fine. So, you know, this is the Bodkin Commune. Excellent. The Green Army. Your job is to push your way. That's just needs to join the Entente, sure. Your job is to push your way into Sweden. Did you give them military access? Yes, they do have military access through you. But I don't think that matters to me. Again, how many men do you have? 54 to 78. You have less men than the Germans did, so... You're purging a leftist. Well, it's a good thing we did not try to rely on the Ukrainians for anything. 
But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching. My name has been Anthem. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, please thumbs down. Want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.